Hi there. In this lesson, we'll be talking about the Yandex Games SDK, what it is, why we need it, and how it's used. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. It's a set of tools for software development that's tailored to a specific platform. In order for our game to work on Yandex Games, we need to integrate some of the platform's features. Installing an SDK is a prerequisite for passing moderation. Some features will work out of the box, like the full screen button or the screen orientation tips for smartphones. Others will implement manually, for example, add delivery or saving of player data on the server. All right, integrating the Yandex SDK into our game. We won't need Unity for this lesson. We've created a build for WebGL. Here, it gave us index.html. That's what we'll use today. Let's open it. We've edited the canvas settings to make the game fill the screen, and now we're going to embed the Yandex features here. First, go to the SDK page on the Yandex Games website. This page here. This is where you download the kit. There are many guides here on stuff we'll be implementing in the future. In-game purchases, player details, and leaderboards. It's all here. We'll start with install and use. It walks us through the SDK integration process. Adding it is mandatory for publishing on the platform. Copy this code and, just like it says in the instructions, add it to the head tag of your HTML page. Find the head tag in index.html and insert these two lines somewhere in here. This fetches the Yandex SDK script to the page for subsequent use. Next, grab this snippet. It initializes the Yagames class, which contains all the functions we need. Copy the code and paste it here. Note that it's written in JavaScript. That means we must paste it under the script tag. Our file already has that tag with various functions for Unity. Let's create another one. Make some space. Copy the opening tag and add a slash to make a closing one. Now you have a pair of script tags. If you want, you can press Ctrl K or Ctrl D to reformat and get the indentation in order. Paste the snippet between the script tags. This initializes the Yandex SDK. If you want, you can open the browser console, which will have the same message. This is going to give us additional functionality, which we'll explore in the next lessons. Just like that, we've met the mandatory conditions to get onto the platform. Let's save. Now, onto the Yandex developer console. All right, the developer console. Let's roll. Log into your Yandex account. Pretty straightforward so far. Click here to access the developer console. I created a new account so we go through the same process. Enter the developer's name. Anything you want. That's it. This is where we add our application. Click Add App. Check the box to accept the licenses. This page is where we submit our game. We'll review these options in more detail later. For now, let's just test this out by uploading our application and seeing if the SDK is installed and the ads are running. Scroll down to Archive. It says that we need to upload a zip archive with the game, 100 megabytes max. That's plenty usually WebGL games are light. Select all the files and add them to an archive. Use the archiver of your preference. Make sure it's set to zip. That's the only format Yandex Games supports. Next, upload. Press Select File and navigate to the archive. It'll take a moment and say File Uploaded when done. Press the yellow Save button and wait for it to verify the file. The verification is automatic and takes about 5 minutes. Refresh the page to see if it's done. Still going. Doesn't matter which language you have selected up here, the archive is the same across the board. After enough time passes, refresh the page, and it'll say, File verified. Link to the draft. Click it, and it'll open in a new tab. 
It says here that the app is not supported by your device. We need to go back and select the target platform. Here, supported platforms. First of all, select all desktop browsers, and you can also check everything under Android. That'll enable us to test the game on mobile. Let's also pick screen orientation. For computers, we'll go with landscape. Save and click the link again. It can give you this message. It means the game is still being uploaded or verified. Just wait a bit and follow the link again. Eventually, you'll get a working hyperlink. You may have to wait a while, especially if you're a new user and this is your first upload. Press play and you're done. The game is running on Yandex Games. Resizing the window also works fine. And there you go. We installed the SDK, which was enough to upload the game to the platform. As you could see in the Yandex documentation, all the code is written in JavaScript. The code blocks are imported into index.html. So far, we've copied over the SDK initialization snippet. It's called when the user opens the game page. In the following lessons, we'll look at how to make calls to the platform from Unity.